We're going to look at the bevel modifier and some limitations that it has. I have the default cube right here. I'm just going to add a bevel modifier. And we can change the segments. But what I want to do is look at the amount. And you can really crank this up and basically bevel this almost into a sphere if you'd like to. I'm sure if I put some more segments in, I could really get it almost perfectly spherical. Well, that was crazy. All right, but I want to talk about limitations. So this right here, all these faces are the full size of the cube. So what I'm going to do is create another cube. Hide this one. Let's make a new cube. And I'm going to go and subdivide this cube. Uh, actually, let's, let's add the bevel modifier first. I think this will be more helpful to see this. And I'm going to do a more standard bevel on this, not something quite so crazy. All right, that's reasonable. So we're now going to go into edit mode. And I do want to see this in edit mode, so make sure you can see it in edit mode. So when I go into edit mode, you can see the uh, actual vertices in the orange and then the beveled cube in the back in gray. Everything is selected. If it's not, just press A to select all. Now I'm going to subdivide this, and a few ways to do it, you can right click subdivide or you can go into the uh, edge menu and subdivide. Now I can subdivide a couple times here and it doesn't affect the bevel, however at some point it will affect the bevel and hopefully you're seeing that bevel change right here. It may be tricky to see, so I'm going to go back. So you'll notice that the bevel is going to get smaller as my subdivisions uh, increase. And I guess I can't go past 10 on subdivisions. So what's happening, the bevel can only go into the faces that are adjacent to the corner. And because I've subdivided this so much, you can see it perfectly lined up here. The bevel can only affect this face and this face. So when those faces end, so we have another face here, that's where the bevel ends. So the bevel cannot go past this face. So if you do need to subdivide, you may want to bevel first, subdivide second. But this is a good way to see the limitations on the bevel based on your geometry. So if your geometry is too fine, you won't be able to bevel very much. And sometimes you're going to find that there's some extra fine geometry somewhere and that may not be visible and that can also limit your beveling. It's hard to know when that will show up. It just kind of does sometimes and then things act funky and it's quite difficult to figure out where you have some extra geometry that's clogging it up. But hopefully this will help if you're trying to bevel and it won't let you bevel uh, as smooth as you would like. Uh, now that we've already subdivided, let's get back to object mode. You can decrease this bevel, so of course that'll be fine right there because it's well within those panels that I made. But if you look, when I crank up the amount, at some point, I'm increasing the amount, but you no longer see it reflected in the model. So there's a cap on it, and the cap is basically the size of, uh, in this case, these faces. Let's go with the measure it tool. So my faces are, why did that not work? Oh, I got to drag, that's why. So that's the width of my face. Um, and I think somewhere right around there is where you're going to no longer see the effect anymore of increasing the amount because it's past that number right there. 